This video is about the Detailed Inventory tab. This is where you're going to enter each and every one of your service lines, both the system-owned side and the customer-owned side. I want to note that the link to the DDW's Lead and Copper page is in the video description below, where you will find a link to download DDW's inventory template. We do not recommend entering the service lines one by one. Instead, we recommend that you enter them into the DDW template and paste them into the tool once your inventory is complete. Do not submit your inventory into this tool until you have entirely built your inventory file. And again, we do not recommend entering individual records, but you can by clicking this button. I will show that screen a little later because it's the same screen you would use to edit a record. What I will show you is the copy paste function from the DDW template. But if you have a separate type of export out of a GIS or other database that you're using, you just need to make sure that all the column headers and the information in the records are exactly the same as DDW's inventory template, including the option in the pull downs for the service line material classification, etc. There is another link in the video description where you can download a, a file that has all the columns and the options in the pull down menus. Uh, please be sure that your data matches these fields exactly, or you will encounter errors when pasting the data. A note for non-transient non-communities or community water systems that do not have split ownership of the service line, um, even if the material is the same from the source or the main to the building inlet, you have to make sure all columns are completed. So for the customer-owned portion in those cases, you would repeat the system-owned information in the appropriate columns. Okay, so if you're using the DDW inventory template, I want to show you over here to the right, I've populated this with some service lines. If everything is good, these will both be zero. Um, if you're using your own template, this tool, of course, won't be available. But if you're using the DDW template, make sure your error count and your missing information both say zero. If you are using your own spreadsheet, I would suggest trying a small batch of about 50 records first to make sure the data in your table will paste and calculate the entire service line correctly. Once you determine your small batch works, you can proceed with the rest of the inventory. So now I'm going to start the copy and paste function. I'm going to highlight some of these rows, and I'm just going to do a few of these for the start. And copy everything, including the notes. So I'm going to go down to line 20 for this one, just so I remember. I'm going to copy by using Control-C on my keyboard, or you can use your right click and copy. Either way. Then I'm going to go to the tool, and I'm going to press Paste. So do not Control-V or right click paste here. You have to use this paste button in the application. So I'm going to click it. And you can see it says it's importing the, the data. And only click the paste key once um, to avoid duplicate entries. We found that about 5,000 lines at a time can be pasted without errors. You can do less, but don't do any more than that, please. When you're copying your batches, be sure not to duplicate lines as you copy and paste them. The application cannot check for duplicates and may result in an inaccurate number of service lines if you submit duplicates. So right now I've copied these first 20 lines. I would want to make sure that when I go with my next batch, I do not include them again. Start with the next line down. Okay. So I've pasted these in here. I'm going to click Save. And you get this little note over here. And the entire service line material classification column will populate based on the entries of that line. So please review this column. If it does not populate, it means that data on that line where it's not populated is either incorrectly entered or is incomplete. Ensure that your entries in your data match the required entries. Again, there's a link in the description below to a file that has the allowable entries. If you have multiple inventory entries that are not calculating based on your small test batch, 
I would suggest using this red trash can in the upper right hand corner to delete your entire inventory from the application. Check your data table for proper entries and try again. So while I'm talking about that, if you click this trash can here, it will remove all of your in inventory entries, um, even if they're saved. So please be careful and only use it if you want to delete your entire inventory. If you wanted to delete just a single line, you would use this red, this little black trash can. That's all the way to the right. So both of these, you have to scroll all the way to the right to get to these trash cans. To edit a line, you can either double click it or you can use the little blue number here in the row number. Either one will work. So I'm going to open that. And this is the, the same window you would receive if you were to enter these one by one, which again, we don't recommend because it's very labor intensive, but here you can edit them. And if you click these, you'll see that it's the same allowable entries um, and in the same order as your as the template or your spreadsheet should be. OK, so back to the inventory. So my small test batch worked because it did populate this service line material for the entire service line. So now I'm going to go ahead and paste another batch. So I went up to 20 last time. And here I'm going to select the rest of my examples here. So there's not too many, but again, over here to the right, make sure I grab them all. Control C or right click copy, go back to the app. And you'll see here that right now I only had 13 service lines for my test. I'm going to paste. And now I have 115 total. So going to scroll down to the bottom. And just show you how to navigate just real quick. So first, I'm going to save these, make sure that they populate. So I got my, if you don't remember, that's this column here, the, the entire service line. So those filled in. And if you wanted to navigate, so you can see here, it says rows 1 to 100 of 115 total. These double arrows will scroll 100 records at a time up or down. So now it's displaying 101 to 200 out of my 115. So there's only 15 on this line, but that's how you navigate in your inventory. I'm going to say save, save again. These tabs are the, or these buttons here, the next and back correlate to the tabs at the top. So if I hit next, it would go to inventory summary. And if I hit back, it would go back to inventory records. So th that's how you navigate from this screen. If you're um, still having any issues after you've done this, I would refer back to the guidance document. You may want to delete your entire inventory again and and then if you're still experiencing, it's, I'm sorry, experiencing issues, contact the LCRR unit. Thank you very much.